Good morning. In bed with Armand and Angelina. In our... Guest bedroom. Studio. Meditation room. Meditation room. room. All purpose. That's right. Rumpus room. That's right. It becomes the everything room. Uh, And we slept in here last night because it has a uh, window unit. (laughs) And our main air conditioner, we shut it down so they could give us an estimate this morning. Yes, they're having an AC problem in the house. So, great news. We get to buy a whole brand new $5,000 unit. This one is 16 years old. We do not want to throw uh, good money after old. And uh, and the new one will be means for the next 20 years, we will not have to be thinking about this. And it's an upgrade and because it's newer, so it has all the good uh, refrigerant and all yeah, that stuff. So much be more efficient, much more environmentally friendly. It's uh, right. all around going to be awesome. So everything froze up. And so they said, well, you're going to need to turn the AC off and just have the fan on. And we're like... Uh, it's going to get kind of warm in this house. And so we thought, well, we have this room air conditioner in this guest bedroom because when our nephew James lived here, uh, this is a warmer room. And he worked, it was his office and his bedroom. And so he needed it more cool. So we thought, well, we'll just put a little window unit in it. And every time we have to use it or we get to use it, we always say, thank you, James. Shout is out it? to James. Yeah, shout out to James. All right. Daily Word. Angelina is very excited about the Daily Word today. That's right. I am. Okay, today's daily word is eager. Inspired by Peter chapter 1, verse 10. I am eager to serve, to help, and to love. I am filled with positive anticipation as I start my day. Although I do not know exactly what today will bring, I know what I can bring to this day. I am eager, open, willing, and ready to make today the very best. If I am faced with an obstacle, I remember that God and I are bigger than any difficulty. Any challenge gives me a chance to express God's power and love. I am filled with faith about the possibilities for good today. I value the beauty and grandeur all around me. I treasure my relationships, my activities, and my ability to share my encouraging attitude. I am motivated to make a positive difference in life. My uplifting energy touches all around me in heartfelt, hopeful, and helpful ways. Aho. Aho. For those of you who don't know what aho is, I say it pretty much every day after I play the flute. That's kind of like amen in Native American, or uh, and so it is. Therefore, brothers and sisters, be all the more eager to confirm your call and election. For if you do this, you will never stumble. Got the word election in the Bible. Cool. Make sure you vote in November. Whoever you believe is best for America, vote for them. That's right. That is right. All right. Well, I just love today. Here's today's uh, quote. Enthusiasm and eagerness give life to our devotional service. That's very nice. Very so nice. I just like this uh, thought for the day, the daily word for the day, because it's, um, I kind of, like when I read it, I'm eager to serve, to help, and to love. It kind of reminded me, like when I was, like in my 20s or 30s, I always said my religious was to be kind, to be of service, and to live in gratitude. And so I kind of feel like today was a little bit like that, serve, help, and to love. They just didn't put the gratitude in, but I guess love and gratitude. So that's that's the dogma of your religion. That's the dogma of my religion. As Swami Vyanananda said, his karma ran over his dogma. Curb your dogma, drive your karma. (laughs) And of course, one of my very first New Thought songs I wrote in the 80s was My Karma Ran Over My Dogma. I still get a few requests for that. That's a good song. Awesome. Let's see what our lady has to say. Oh, yes. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. 21 years ago today, Discovery became the first space shuttle to dock with the International Space Station. And I bet everyone at NASA was partying like it was 1999. <laughs> Adorable. Very yeah, cute. we were kind of uh, a little disappointed when the shuttle didn't go off the other day. Right. The SpaceX. 
Right. Uh, and, but uh, I think one hadn't gone off since what did they say like two thousand eight. And they're uh, they're they've got a new a new date, new lift off date, right. and all that. And so, uh, uh, better safe than sorry. But you know, there was weather is why it was. I think there were tornado warnings and wind and all that. So you know, they put them in the spaceship and they sit there for like forty five minutes to an hour to wait for takeoff. And you know, it's a tight little space they're in. And then, it's, I guess it's disappointing for them after waiting and waiting and then sitting in this thing for an hour and then they don't get to go. So we had some compassion for them as well. Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. Yes. And it's always weather, truthfully. Right. Whether or not they leave. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I'm hysterical. Oh, God, I run. All right. So I guess that pretty much does well, it. I was just going to say one thing. Another thing that about the uh, daily word and being of service and to help a lot of times people say to me i um i put a lot of time and in, and in, uh into these little 10 minute spots and people say why do you put so much time into it? it's not making you money it's not uh doing anything big or you know it for only your has career there's 40 only viewers right sometimes it starts out with eight viewers and i i tell them i do it because i like doing it I know there were a couple of people that requested we do this every day, and so I committed to that. And it gives me purpose, and it makes me feel good. And um, what were your three things that you were talking about earlier? Uh, yeah. Serve, help, and to love. Right. And that gives you a chance. And Speaking so, of which, tomorrow is going to be a very busy day. It is. We will be uh, getting up at about seven in the morning, and we will be getting home around midnight because we have a full day at Unity of North Tampa, preparing for Sunday and doing our Saturday evening drive-in concert. Uh, right. Lot, you know, that's our first public uh, performance where people can actually drive up to their car yeah, and see be, us. I'm, I'm kind of uh, excited for that. It'll I be something too. really different. So. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Uh, we'll try to get something Sunday, but uh, there's no guarantees that that will be working. And then we'll be going away to our timeshare uh, Oh, yeah. So that'll be Vero awesome Beach. Monday through uh, Friday uh, in Vero Beach. And right. so we'll we'll probably do some of them from there. Yes, It'll we will. Be, uh, in I already got my daily words all on, ready to travel to Vero. On vacation with Armand and Angelina, I guess that's what we'll have to call it. All right. We, we don't do get that. very many vacations in Florida. Uh, <laughs> Why so, is that, Armand? Because you do not like to be away from the house. Because <laughs> I want to be home. And she tried to use that excuse with me. You probably heard. And I said, you can't use that excuse. We've been in this house for over two months. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got here music-wise. I think we got our wonderful song from the Trolls. Yes. All right. We appreciate you all. We Thank do. You. We do. We love you.